Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how to uh, make a really nice vegetarian chili and I make this uh, recipe quite often, I really like it. It only takes about an hour total, maybe 10 minutes prep and another uh, 10 minutes active cooking but in total it's uh, within an hour you have really nice vegetarian chili. So we'll start by heating up this pan and putting some olive oil and sauteing one cup of finely chopped onion. Now we're doing this over medium heat. All right, so let's dump the uh, onions. Uh, that was one cup of onions. And we're just gonna um, get, give it a head start before we add the other stuff. Uh, and now we're going to add about 8 ounce of uh, sliced baby bell mushrooms. Next we're going to add 1 cup of chopped carrots. Pump it in. Next we're going to have uh, about about one third of a cup of chopped celery. It's about one half of a sticks. Dump it in. Next, we're gonna have uh, about about a cup of uh, chopped green bell pepper, and uh, this is basically one whole green bell pepper without the top and the bottom. So nicely chopped. Next, we're going to add uh, about four cloves of minced garlic. Try to mix it all around. And uh, now we're getting to the uh, spices and herbs. So, we're going to add one whole tablespoon of chili powder. And this is really to taste, but I find that uh, one tablespoon is uh, more than enough. I'm gonna stir it. Three quarters of a teaspoon of black pepper. Something like this. One tablespoon of ground cumin. Three fourths of a teaspoon of dried basil. Uh, something like that. And the same amount for the dried oregano. So uh, about, you know, three, three quarters of, of a teaspoon, teaspoon, something like that. And a pinch of salt. And that's the taste. You can adjust it later. Next, we're going to add a whole can of 28 ounce of whole plum tomatoes. And these are peeled tomatoes with the juice, everything. You can just plop it in. Next, we're gonna add two cans, 15.5 ounces or, you know, 15, between 15 and 16, two cans of these, of black beans, with the juices, with everything. Next, we're gonna add about one third of a cup of um, red wine, about a teaspoon of Tabasco sauce, it just gives it a nice kick. And we're gonna put it on high, get it on uh, to um, a nice uh, simmer, and we're gonna put it on low to simmer for about 40 minutes. And Last and not least, two cups of water. All right, so two cups of water going in. And before I forget, half of a can of tomato paste. And 
try to have a really good quality tomato paste. Hans is really the best, so half a can. Now this recipe is so, so forgiving. You really cannot mess this thing up. If you follow the directions decently, you should have a really, really good vegetarian chili. All right, so we're gonna mix everything up. Now we'll need between 30 and 40 minutes for the vegetables to soften up, uh, meaning the, um, the green bell peppers, the, the carrots, and the celery. Uh, so that would take them about 40 minutes to soften up. So we'll get this to a nice simmer. And one thing I recommend is uh, always put the top on if you're trying to get water to boil. It really, really does reduce the amount of time that you need to uh, get it to uh, boil. And uh, we're not trying to get to a crazy boil, just uh, those little bubbles. Now the whole tomatoes, they're going to soften up. And at some point between steers, I would steer this every... 10 minutes or so while it's simmering and just poke into those whole tomatoes and try to separate them apart so they become into pieces. Alright so we have a nice simmery soup here. We're gonna reduce this to low, keep the cover on and we're gonna steer it from time to time for every, every about 10 minutes and we're gonna set the timer for 40 minutes. Okay, so it's been uh, about 40 minutes or so, and uh, this has been simmering nicely. This will taste so much better tomorrow. I'm going to actually pour some. And there you have it. Vegetarian chili made in one hour. Uh, but again, tomorrow you will have quite the surprise. It's gonna taste twice as better. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please, please, if you're trying this recipe, put in your comment, tell me how it turned out. I would love to hear how you like your vegetarian chili. So please thumb up, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Till next time, bye.